Hi folks, today I'm going to be doing a quick review of the Nexa Lumi LED light strips. A $49 set of light strips with 50 feet of LED light strips that are fully controllable via this IR remote and also via an app. Um, I took painstaking time to read the manual and figure out how to install these. I'll show you a picture of them up on my wall. I'll, sh I'll go through kind of the critical steps of the installation and all of the key areas that you could fail in trying to connect these lights to the corner connectors and where it's safe to cut the strips in order to get to the exact dimensions that you need to fit your space. This manufacturer is making it really clear and they're in their manual. If you have problems, contact them. I contacted them and they were able to fix my issue and send me a replacement strip for the one that wasn't working. So I think that's a really good sign for the product manufacturer. And if there's anything you get out of this video and you buy this product, it's probably that. So let's get on to the next and I'm going to try to boil down the use of the Nexalumi one-stop shop for LED light strips. I'm going to just try to break down how you use these in actuality. I have a corner connector, which I think is probably the most important part that you're going to have to figure out how to do. And I've got a strip that I've already cut on the line. Um, and you can cut these strips at any one of these black lines. You'll notice that these are all coded. So this is telling you right here, 12 volt, green, red, blue. So these need to line up. I mean, you know, it's going to matter when you connect these because they need to line up with the other strips, colors of the same, right? So they have to line up. This will not work. You cannot line up 12 volt with blue. So I would have to line these, I would have to attach these in a different sequence to get these to work. As I'm just gonna demonstrate getting these lights to work, first of all, and that's the first key. There's a line, there's an arrow, and there's an arrow on this key as well. So these are just keyed, you line up the arrows, simple enough. And then they connect easily enough, you can turn them on. I've got them set to green, we can change the color. I'm gonna leave them at green, and then I'm gonna turn that off. So for demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna cut this strip. I don't really need much. And this is kind of a spare strip. I've already got my lights installed, and I'm just now going over the video for folks. So I'm just going to cut it along that line. Now I, I'm going to tell you that you have to cut it along that line. It may look like you can cut it wherever you damn well feel like cutting it, but if you don't cut it on this line where those copper strips are, you're not going to get the correct contacts. So at this point in time I have um, a, just a spare short strip. And what I'm going to do is uh, go through the process of peeling back the tape from the edge so that we can connect it to the uh, corner connector, which I think is probably, like I said, the most important part. And the really the only thing that you could probably screw up with these lights is not connecting the corners correctly. So you gotta peel back this tape, that's what it amounts to, and without damaging, without damaging the tape, without damaging the LED strip itself. I mean, I don't think it's that delicate. You can probably pull at it pretty good so I'm just peeling it back here. And yep, that's, that's more than enough right there. Just to make my life easier, I'm gonna cut that excess off. Okay, now I have a strip that both ends are exposed and I can use to connect those to the corner connector uh, with the correct polarity. Okay, and I'm going to have to do the same on this piece, find the end. So this is, our, uh, this is going to connect to our source, to our power, and then we're going to use this into the L joint, and then we're going to connect it to this so that you can see exactly how it works. I'll probably even connect it incorrectly so you can see what happens if you were to do it wrong. We have an exposed surface. We've got a corner. I'm going to open up the tops here on this corner. I just use my fingers. All right. So once we get this connected, it's going to be a 12 volt. Green is green, red is red, and blue is blue. So I'm going to say that that is the correct polarity. 
You can look inside here, there's just some contacts in there. These copper contacts need to connect to those. Uh, I don't have my glasses on. How am I even making this work? I'm awesome. How do I not have glasses on? It's a miracle. Oh, there we go. That is in, and now I can pull on that, it won't come out. I'm not gonna pull too hard, but I can see 12 volt green, red, blue matches what's going on with these, uh, with these wires. Taking it one step at a time, I'm just reconnecting this. Okay, I'm green. Oh, I didn't even turn that off. Green, I'm blue, I'm red, I'm green, and I'm off. Now we're just gonna finish connecting. We're lining up, matching basically our 12 volt, our green, our red, our blue to those wires. You can think of it as matching those wires. It's the same run that's gotta continue on through. And I mean, you can feel this, like I could feel that positively connect in there. That is connected. And just closing that cover is just going to give it that extra grip. All right, let's connect this. Match the arrows. I don't know why this is so hard for me. It's got something to do with my glasses, and I can't really see those connectors. And there you have it. Okay, uh, this one's a little bit unstable, it looks like, but okay, and we're good. Now, we've got them connected correctly. Then this critical document right here, which doesn't really even say that it's an installation manual, probably has the most important information about the in install. And it says on the inner page, installation method. So removing the 3M adhesive, and it is 3M adhesive, and the waterproof tape around the junction before inserting it into the connector, which is exactly what we did. Cut along the cutting line you have to cut it along this line and that's going to be an issue sometimes because you're going to measure and you're going to be in between that gap that's like a four inch gap so if you measure 67 inches and 67 inches ends up in here somewhere you're going to have to cut it short or long and then manipulate this angle connect this corner connector to make up for the difference so maybe the corner connector ends up like this maybe it ends up you know sort of you don't go directly to the corner, you kind of angle away from the corner to give yourself that extra half inch or inch to make it work. But that works fantastically. And the color change is pretty subtle. Uh, let's see, this is white. Yep. And then of course you can control the intensity of those lights. Oh, I had them on the minimum now. They're getting to the maximum. I don't know how good that's coming out on camera. But in my eyes, that's pretty bright. Well, I'm right on top of it. Okay, what else is critical to note? Okay, so what would happen if we didn't adhere to this and cut this somewhere else other than on this line? You're not going to make contact, and the current is basically either not going to go through the uh, the corner bracket or it's going to go through incorrectly and these lights on the next strip are going right, to light up the incorrect colors. It's pretty straightforward. If you install this strip upside down, let's disconnect this and try that, which is also simulating, you know, improper connections here. Now remember we already cleared this side so we should be able to just install this upside down. It's still got contact strips. But now our 12 volt green, red, and blue are upside down. So do any of them match up? 12 volt is running, 12 volt is running through blue, blue is running through black, red is running through green, and r green is running through red. No, this should be bad news. This should not work. This is um, probably not recommended on your home electrical circuitry, but I'm gonna do it here just to show you and illustrate to you that, you know, basically you don't have current flowing through here. So there's nothing I can do to get these lights working. That's pretty much all there is to the installation uh, and that it's pretty simple to use. The remote control, I guess if we were to move on and talk about the remote control, there are some cool things that you can do with it. Obviously this, the Sesame Street buttons here, red, green, blue, I guess this is light purple, darker purple, pink, yellow, blue, green, and this W is white. So as we change those, 
you just get your different colors and it seems to work really well. Simple stuff, right? Um, the white works and then you can just change, you can cycle through the colors with color plus. I can do this to music. Now there's no music, so if I talk, it's gonna do this to my voice. But if I was to play music, I can get these to just react to music, which is kind of cool. I just see that it says that it will switch the modes plus and minus, uh, but it doesn't say what the modes might be, unfortunately. Now it does explain that there's 20 static colors that you can get to by pushing the buttons on the controller over here, but that's probably nowhere near you. And I'm assuming that you're going to get the same 20 static color options by pressing this on the remote, which is obviously a ton more convenient. Man, that's like six or seven, maybe even 10 steps brighter. And I can tell you, I, I use these late at night when I'm doing my YouTube channel videos and um, <laughs> to put a little bit of mood lighting on some of my videos and they're bright. They're bright. They're definitely bright when you're talking two, three in the morning. So all in all, a pretty cool product. I think you um, you ought to know that the company themselves, Nexalumi, uh, they have written right in their manual, like, um, you know, contact us if you have any issues. <clears throat> I have other issues the manual does not mention, question mark. Writing negative reviews without contacting, uh, contacting us does not solve any problems. Please contact us via the email address and you will get issues resolved with 100% satisfaction within 24 hours for new replacements, refunds, compensation, or any suggestions to us. Please feel free to contact them. So I have contacted them. I didn't have something working quite right and they sent me out a replacement strip which is why I have this one down on the ground. Um, but actually it ended up probably being, I don't know, it was kind of not working but it seems to be working when I took it down off the wall so it was definitely not illuminating correctly when I had it up on the wall they sent me a replacement strip and um, I replaced it and the replacement strip worked fine but when I took this down now I have connected it directly here and it does seem to be working so they were gracious and sent me a correction for the product I haven't installed the app there's a lot of information in here about the app I, I really don't have a use for the app um, but they have a lot of information in the app about how to use your phone to control these things. But for me and my, the way I'm going to use it, I don't mind the remote at all. So for now, I'm not going to install the app. For the cost of this product, which is about $49, you seem to get, you know, if this is what you're looking for, you seem to get a, uh, a product that even if you had problems, the company is standing behind it and telling you outright to contact them and they will make it right. So I can appreciate that, you know, someone trying to run and start a business and do the right thing by their customers. Uh, if there's anything that I want to warn you about, it's that this tape sticks to the wall pretty good. So when you take it off the wall, if you need to remove these lights, do it very carefully and do not do a kind of a direct pull off the wall. You're going to have to peel it down very gently so that you don't remove anything from the surface that you, that you, you, know, that you put it on. Okay, that's a wrap of the Nexalumi LED light strips. Pretty cool product with a good company backing them and making sure that customers are satisfied using their product. Thanks for watching and if you like my video, go ahead and click that subscribe button and stay tuned. I got more earbud reviews coming up in the near future. So Zen out.